Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar remains on the front foot around 69, 65, 75 area. And as you can see, it's still persistent in taking the challenge to where this trend line is. One support now seeing resistance and clearly capping any further advancement. However, the trend is still somewhat bullish due to the ADX, but we are overbought. Now, I do ascertain that a break above 70.05 may trigger stop loss rally, but only briefly. I feel the market may just take out the shorts up towards anywhere from 70.25 to 55 if the break is seen before reversing. But in light of the um, set into the seventh consecutive day, the market is contained from this line or by this line and therefore could see a further downward test. But there's still a lot of work to do on the support at 69.15.25. The dollar index slipped further close, or should I say closer to the 96 support area after inking in an intraday low of 9046, or 9646 to be more exact. Now from that is the fact is that the market has seen the euro rally up to 113.4050, previous levels from the rejection area, and still at this stage under a little bit of threat due to the fact and how the technicals are set up. Now, if we do break above 113.50, that will leave me neutral for the short term because I feel the market could stretch as far as 113.95 to about 114.60.70. But there is still work to do on the US dollar index. Now, as you know, it measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies. And if we break below the 96 level, may increase and give some risk factor to that. Also reflecting on the Australian dollar, we do have today the RBA July Monetary Policy Meeting at 2.30 Sydney time. I do ascertain that the market will keep its interest rates on hold as widely expected at a quarter percent. But all the attention will yet again fall on the bank's accompany monetary policy statement. So do keep an eye on that to see if the, the bank is more dovish in terms of seeing interest rates lower or somewhat neutral and keeping the stance as it is. The dollar yen has weakened overnight and from that the market is now looking closer towards that 107 level. I do ascertain that from the technicals breaking down with the midway point also with the RSI broken could give a view that 107 could crumble towards a potential target of 106 which was contested not so long ago, as you can see here, clearly evident. The pound is trying to attempt to break higher, but there is still a lot of resistance, and that being around 125.45 to about 125.70. In light of the current pattern, I still feel that this gravestone doji does pose a little threat to the bear case. The technicals are very much in a lackluster presence, and therefore could see the market turn back to the support. Then, there is a lot of work to do for the bears because a break of 124.55 still has to cut the level of 124.25 to confirm this gravestone doji, which in turn would see a move to 123. Little to say the dollar cad as it coasts to sideways, so I'm neutral there. But the gold outlook took another challenge to the upside and again was contained by a level of 1,788. In light of the pattern, I still see divergence and I'm a little bit cautious in coming out with any bullish call. And if this divergence does continue, then we could see a snap back to the downside. And that would give us a potential target of 1,774 to 60. And a break of 60 would expose the region of 36 to 46. And wrapping up with oil, little to say there after the US return from its long weekend, as Friday was uh, in respect of uh, July the 4th, Independence Day. Now, as you can see here, we're just coasting, coasting. Still contained by the level of 41, figure 50. And see if the market does actually show a presence to a pullback. Although they have been shallow, I'm still holding the view while the top side's intact at 41 and a half to a move to 36 and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday poll. And I hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.